AJ. Tomorrow, the last day of the CDC's eviction moratorium extension, meaning millions of Americans, including thousands here in Virginia, could soon be thrown out of their homes. For months, tenants have been pleading for more time as they apply for relief. On your side at six, Enzo Domingo spoke with one landlord actually working with a tenant but admits it's getting tough, Enzo. Yeah, that's right, Kurt. That woman that I spoke to, Mary Harwell, says she doesn't intend on kicking her tenant to the curb, but they've been applying for months so they could use any sort of relief as she does have her own bills to pay. We've been working on this since May. For months, landlord Mary Harwell says she sent over documents like a W-9 form, copies of a housing and lease agreement, sometimes repeatedly, to the Department of Housing and Community Development to apply for rent relief. Still, she waits as time winds down on the CDC's eviction ban. I'm concerned that these people are trying to get help and they can't get any help. The moratorium was already extended by a month back in June as housing advocates and lawmakers pushed for more time. On Thursday, the Biden administration announced that it would allow the moratorium to expire, calling on Congress to act. Senate Democrats are reportedly working on legislation to extend, while the House already introduced the bill on Thursday, looking to extend the moratorium until mid-October. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said of the $50 billion in rent relief that was allocated, only $3 billion had been reportedly used. Why should the, uh, the renters be punished for the fact that the system did not put money in their pockets. In the Commonwealth, over 300 million relief dollars have been paid out since July of last year. There is about 700 million left in the Virginia Rent Relief Program. Housing advocates say the biggest issue seems to be getting the word out to those at risk that relief is available. No tenant in Virginia should be evicted for non-payment of rent until that last dollar has been spent. Now, Harwell says she doesn't expect to kick out her tenant, but that things are already tough without relief. I'm going to work with her as long as I can, but still, I have bills to pay. All right, so that $300 million in relief money that Virginia has gotten has gone to over 48,000 households so far. Now, we do have advice directly from housing advocates for people that believe they might be at risk for evictions with links on our website and on our news. Well, slow down.